Hi, this is help with uh, Homelink 8.5 for Everyday Math 3rd grade. And this is about equivalent fractions. And the first thing we're going to do is look at some pies. And we're going to use a straight edge. So use a, something to help you draw straight lines to divide these pies into equal pieces. The first one is a peach pie. We need to divide it into four equal pieces. I will do this the best I can on the iPad. using a straight edge still and those pieces are about equal four equal pieces and I need to shade <clears throat> two of the pieces so there it is and the next one it says um, blueberry pie in a six equal pieces that might be a little bit more challenging than four you may have to erase a couple of times to get it right so that the pieces are equal. And then if I'm looking at the fractions here for this first pie, that would be two fourths that I shaded. But uh, for number four down here, you need to write another name for this fraction. And if you look at it, you can probably see. If you do these other ones, you can probably see too. What are the equivalent fractions? Now don't forget the home link this night has something on the back, so take a look at the back as well. So here, it's asking you to circle one-fourth of the cats. That means you need to put them into four equal groups. There's four on the bottom. The denominator means you need to put them in four equal groups and circle one of those groups. Then write the how many did you circle, and then write the fraction here does equivalent. And to give you a quick hint for that, uh, your fraction here, the bottom number or denominator is going to be the total number of cats. And this number here is going to be the number of cats that you circled. Now for the last part, you have to fill in what fraction of these rectangles is each piece. So they did this part for you. This is one-fourth of the rectangle. This one here, you should know what fraction this is. If this is the whole rectangle, how much is this? This, you might need to think about a little bit more. So maybe visualize, if you just cut the rectangle into this many pieces, how many would it be? So if I made all the pieces the same size, approximately, they would be that, and then I have eight pieces, so one of these would be one-eighth. Okay, and just try to figure those out the best you can. Um, <clears throat> if you need to redraw the rectangle and just draw like I did, that's fine, or make marks, however you can figure it out. So again, this is Equivalent Fractions, Home Link 8.5, Everyday Math, 3rd grade. Thank you.